what keeps you playing RuneScape? For most players, it's the game and the enjoyment that comes with it, or the escape from reality as in an MMO you can be whoever you want to be, albeit in a virtual world. And perhaps for some players, it's because of a sunken cost into the game. As human beings, we gain satisfaction from succeeding in completing projects or goals, but sometimes we become so invested that we trick ourselves into thinking it's worth finishing, when in reality it isn't. Around the MMO community, I see way too many people suffering from sunken costs, and it's extra apparent in RuneScape. I've personally experienced the sunken cost fallacy when creating content, playing MMORPGs, and even in real life. In this video, we're going to talk about this rather common problem and how it can quite literally ruin your gaming experience. So whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Everyone watching this video has experienced this phenomenon in one shape or form during their lives. Examples given in this video may not apply to you specifically, as they can be very specific, but the general principle definitely does. Please do not see this video as a personal attack, but as an informative video. The sunk cost fallacy consists of you putting personal resources, whether that's money, time, or something else, into a project or goal of yours, and at a certain point you may realize it isn't the best thing to do any longer, or perhaps a better opportunity comes around for you to take. However, at this point, you've put so many resources into it, you might as well continue, right? Because otherwise, you wouldn't see return on these resources, and they would be wasted. Well, that's where you could be wrong, depending on the situation, of course. To put it simply, let's say you have two options. Option A, which has a sunk cost because you put resources into it, and option B, which doesn't. Therefore, to not cut your losses, you'd probably pick A, correct? Well, that's what a sunk cost fallacy is. Not everyone will choose option A, of course, but time and time again has shown us that us humans do not like missing out or not getting any return for time invested, or money. This usually only really occurs with long-term goals because short-term goals or projects lack the commitment and input that long-term goals require. That personal investment long-term can attach you emotionally to that goal or project and result in you showing irrational behavior when confronted with option B. Again, not everyone will have this, but it is definitely a thing. The reason I think this is an important topic to talk about is because the sunk cost fallacy applies to many aspects of life. You've put hundreds of hours into making your own book, you've spent a thousand hours on maxing a RuneScape, you've spent a lot of money into your business investment, you're in a long-term relationship, it doesn't matter, the sunk cost fallacy can be applied to pretty much any situation you can think of, where you invest time, money, or something else. Now, as a content creator, I've experienced this when working on videos that I later scrapped, but there have also been times where I committed and basically forced myself to finish a video project, even though I didn't have the creative energy. The simple reason for this is that everyone has limited time, including myself, for videos each week, and because I already invested, let's say, 10 hours into making this video, or that video, I didn't see a reason to stop and scrap it because I had a personal goal of, let's say, 4 videos a week at the time. So going back to those two options, options in this case I went for option A even though option B which could be making a new video with completely fresh creative energy would have probably been a better option. Now I haven't just experienced this with content creation I've experienced it with in-game things as well. For example getting my first master cave being 120 magic. I did this fully AFK in the abyss and halfway through I felt absolutely disgusted. This was back in 2014 and I absolutely hated getting that cape. Even though I AFK the entire thing, I said to myself, I've committed so many hours already, if I don't finish it now I've literally wasted over 100 hours of my life. And that's exactly what the sunk cost fallacy is. I generally believe this is extremely common throughout RuneScape because RuneScape is a game that requires a lot of time commitment. I've seen plenty of examples of this in my comment section, on social media, in my community Discord server. For example, someone bought Premier Club but they didn't feel like playing anymore, yet they still did because they spent the money to get 6 or 12 months of membership. Someone almost maxed but they didn't really feel like playing but because they already maxed 25 skills and they put so many hours into the game, they were pretty much forced to finish maxing because otherwise they thought it wouldn't be worth it and after maxing they would quit. Someone else put a lot of time into a clan yet that clan treated that person like crap and that person simply didn't want to join another clan because that person was super invested into the clan with the people 
And actually, I've seen a variation of this quite often in RuneScape clans, but it's because people don't want to lose their clan experience, which is that total number you can see on the site, perhaps a mild version of sunk cost fallacy, and perhaps addiction to seeing numbers going up. But that's pretty common, I believe. In fact, I think addiction could play a big role around this video and the topic and RuneScape in general. Now, obviously, this doesn't apply to everyone, but I believe out of all the video games people are addicted to, RuneScape just might have the most amount of addicts, percentage of total players, together with Minecraft and Fortnite. That's just a raw guess, I have nothing to back it up, except what I can see around my community. Research has shown us that humans like numbers, and RuneScape has a lot of numbers that can go up, and give that dopamine rush, like GP, experience, pets collected, and so on. I've created a full video about is RuneScape addictive before, so I won't go too deep into this topic. But I just want to say there's a lot of things you can complete in RuneScape, and for that reason, people can really get hooked. I mean, it could be one of the 10 reasons why people keep returning to RuneScape, and there's that saying, you can never quit RuneScape. One of those 10 is most definitely addiction to the game. 100%. In one shape or form, there is addiction, at least sometimes. Not always, of course, it could be nostalgia, it could be fun, it could be your friend studying playing, it could be a RuneScape ad you've seen, it could be a video that got you interested, it could be new bossing content, it could be a lot of things. I guess you get the point. I've wanted to make a video about the sunk cost fallacy for a while now, however, it had sunken down the video idea list. But after recently reading some RuneScape Steam reviews, the idea sparked back into my brain. I mean, look at some of these reviews. Some may not be serious, but others definitely are, and even if they aren't, this is a very real thing that affects players. Not all players, but it definitely has affected some. And so we come back to the question, what keeps you playing RuneScape? Is it the joy of completing logs and reaching your experience goals? Is it the community? Is it PVM? Is it PvP? Is it because you're addicted? Is it because of the sunk cost fallacy or something else? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. And if you've ever experienced the sunk cost fallacy in RuneScape, be sure to let me know your story as well. I'd love to read some comments talking about it. With that being said, though, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. And if you're new, maybe you've considered subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.